I gotta pay for these products because I have a period that I didn't ask for. And then you're gonna harm me as I use these products for a thing I didn't even ask for. What? It's Sharon. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual filming spot, so you already know this is a different video, even though they are technically all different videos, that's not the point. So this is a series that I kind of started, am kind of still starting, if that makes sense. So I am testing different period products, and I've already tested a menstrual cup, so definitely feel free to go check that video out. I wore the menstrual cup all day and talked about my experience with it, but today we are doing reusable pads. I ordered these off of Amazon, I'm currently on my period, and I am ready for a different product and a solution because listen, periods are expensive and I'm sick and tired of paying for products for a thing that I didn't even ask to have and had no choice in having. So we are trying to save the environment, save our wallets, and even save our health, which yes, I'll get into that later. So if you want to see more, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow my Instagram and my Twitter and my TikTok so you have a say in my videos, get a chance to be in them, and even get a chance to be shout out of the day. And of course, like I mentioned, this is a kind of series that I'm starting, but that being said, I make a lot of period related videos, which if you didn't know, now you do. And if you did, you know it again. So I have a playlist on my channel called All About Periods. That is, you guessed it, All About Periods. I have tips, tricks, hacks, testing period products, embarrassing period horror stories, all that good stuff. And this is just kind of a new series on its own that's still in its first baby steps, but we're doing the thing. Now, when I use the menstrual cup, I did like a swim test and an exercise test and a just going about my day test. So with the reusable pad, obviously I can't do a swim test because, you know, you can't go swimming with a pad on. Well, you can, but you shouldn't because the pad's gonna soak up all the water instead of the blood. So we're not doing the swim test. We're just going about our day and doing an exercise test and just hoping for the best, basically. But anyways, let's open this pack and see how it is. <laughs> you can see Coco sleeping right next to me. Hey, Coco, what's up, girl? Coco. Psst, psst. Meow. So I ordered this pack off of Amazon and it comes with six pads. They're all different patterns. This one's kind of like peacocky. This one has leaves and this one just has whatever that is, a galaxy? I don't know. And it came with a little pouch that I can put my dirty pads into when I'm out in the bout and need to change them. So these pads are huge. They look gigantic, right? And the reason they're gigantic is because I got a large. You can get like different sizes and different types. This is the little thing that you clip onto your underwear. So instead of like, you know, sticky wings, you just have wings that you just button together. So I'm very curious about that. I'm very scared about it not having a sticky part because what if it starts shifting and moving while I'm wearing it, you know? So that's one of my concerns so far. The other concern is this. It says it's bamboo charcoal, right? But it kind of feels like a fleece. And I live in Florida. I'm scared that it's going to get really warm down there. And when it's really warm down there, that gives it ability for bacteria to grow down there. So that's another concern I have. But I am still pretty excited to try these out because if they work, oh man, is this a game changer. No more pads for me. Well, technically there will be pads for me. Just no more disposable throwaway one-time pads. So earlier in the video, I mentioned my health, right? I was watching a video of someone else that tried reusable pads and like their experience with it and I knew this before and I thought it was just in tampons I don't know why I feel like boo-boo the fool for just thinking that so pads and tampons you know like the ones you get at the drugstore that don't say organic or any of that stuff they're made with a lot of chemicals that can actually harm you duh so that's why I now switch to organic tampons if I'm gonna use a tampon but the thing is these chemicals can actually make your period worse like you can actually get worse cramps from the chemicals in these products and I'm like I gotta pay for these products because I have a period that I didn't ask for and then you're gonna harm me as I use these products for a thing I didn't even ask for. What? So I am on a mission to find the perfect reusable product and we're gonna test out every possible reusable period product we can. So if you have any that you wanna see that I haven't done yet or you want me to do, let me know in the comments below and let's go get into this reasonable pad. Ooh, but which one do I use? Do I want the peacock? Do I want the palm leaves? Or do I want the star? I'm gonna go with the palm leaves. These are really cute. And these are my favorite colors, purple and green. Man, I'm gonna have the cutest period pad ever. By the way, don't mind my bathroom sound. It just makes that. So let's get this pad on. Oh my God, this is huge. Like just putting it on my underwear, it's ginormous. Which honestly, that doesn't seem like a bad thing because this would be a perfect overnight pad, which to be honest, I wear night pads during the day anyways because your girl is always bleeding. <laughs> Okay, let's get those claps on. Oh, there's two claps. You can either get it like really tight or like not so tight. I'm gonna put it on really tight. Oh, hello. Oh no, it's already slipping and sliding. I think it's fine. What if this like rotates and flips upside down? Okay, now I, I need to shut up. Okay, it's on. I'm scared to bleed in it now, but it's on. I have the pad on and here's my impression so far. It is very soft. 
Like it feels so nice against my, my hoo-ha because it's just so soft. Now, the way it is to wash them, you rinse it out with cold water until the blood is not coming out anymore. And then you add some like type of detergent or some soap and then you let it soak in cold water and then you hang dry. I only have six. Let's say I go through two of these in a day. That's gonna last me three days. And if my cycle doesn't last three days, which like, you know, average cycle is like what? Like five, six, seven days, something like that. I'm clearly gonna need a lot more. These weren't that expensive. I think I paid 15 bucks for them. But if you want some like cotton ones instead of like bamboo charcoal, the cotton ones are a little bit more on the expensive side. So then you really just gotta think about how much money you're gonna spend. But a major pro is you might be spending a lot of money right now. But think about all the money you might be spending right now is money you are not gonna spend later on every single month when you need period products. So at least there's that so far. And also pads can cause irritation. They can cause rashes. So this feels like heaven on my, on my vagina right now. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna run some errands. And by errands, I mean, I'm gonna run to Starbucks and film a TikTok. So definitely go check that out. Follow me on TikTok. A, we're gonna mark this as the first hour and I'll check in when I feel like I must change, which is also something that I'm like, when do I change? How do I know when there is too much blood on this pad and it is time for me to change that pad? I have no idea, so I guess we're gonna wing it and find out together. Yay. <laughs> a few moments later. I got my frappuccino. It is Loki inspired. Yes, Marvel Loki. If you haven't seen Loki on Disney Plus, you're missing out. But also if you haven't seen all of Marvel movies, you're missing out. So I got this, it's for TikTok, but that's beside the point because this is testing reasonable pads. But anyways, so when I got it in the car, I felt like my pad shifted and I was like, oh my God. So I just, you know, readjusted a bit, but it feels fine. Again, it feels so comfortable. I don't know if I have bled yet or not because I don't feel it on there so question mark but it is still so comfy and so soft and listen there is a little sheet of paper that came in the packaging and I didn't even notice it and the sheet of paper was like wash them before you use them for maximum absorbency and I was like guess I ain't getting maximum absorbency but whatever I'm not on like a really heavy flow anyways and I usually have a really heavy flow but like this period's flow has been kind of like mediocre I'm not on my first day either I'm on like my third day or my fourth day which should be my heavy day but it hasn't been too heavy so far then again the day has just begun so I shouldn't have jinxed it but here we are also side note this low-key frappuccino is easily hands down one of the greatest things I've ever had from Starbucks so now you know go get one and I'll have that recipe in my TikTok, so go check it out. At Sharon Cancio. follow me if you have it. <laughs> Anyways, the day's nasty, it's been raining, so we'll see if it stops raining. If not, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day because it has been raining nonstop. Welcome to Florida, the sunshine state, they say. We're gonna go back home for now. Few inches later. I got back from Starbucks and I don't feel like I have bled, so I haven't checked anything yet. I was like, I got a return to do, so we're gonna spend the day outside and wandering stuff. So it's raining and it will not stop raining, and I mean, Florida, right? So to be honest, my hair's straight. I just did it last night. I don't want to go out in the rain. I don't want to walk in the rain in general. So it looks like we're spending the day indoors as SpongeBob may say. I am probably just going to spend the entire day or majority of it recording videos. I mass record my videos, spoiler alert. So we're going to hope this pad holds up and I don't know when to check if it's full or not. Like I kind of got to pee, but I'm going to hold it for a bit, even though it's bad to hold your pee, but I'll update you in a bit. Just kidding i really gotta pee <laughs> oh wow there's oh what why is there blood kind of everywhere but kind of not at the same time i am so confused it's like at the top and in the middle and to the side and what is going on so i didn't have that much blood but now i'm wondering did i have that much blood or did i not have that much blood because the reusable pads have like so many layers so the amazon listing literally says it has three four five layers so i'm not entirely sure which one it is they have a little a little graphic right and the graphic says there's a top layer which is soft and gentle bamboo charcoal middle layer is superior absorption microfiber and outer layer is leak proof TPU fabric. I have no idea what TPU is. So that being said, I don't know if there's blood in the lower layers and I can't see that much on top. Either way, there wasn't that much to begin with and it still feels very comfortable and less annoying than an actual pad. But anyways, I'm gonna go film probably for like the next six hours. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. I think I'm gonna switch at the end of the night and we'll go through the cleaning process together and then I will wear one to sleep as well. So we'll do an overnight test. Am I gonna work out? I feel like I should work out. 
six hours later. So I took a break because I am hungry, I'm starving, so I made lunch. I made some sad tacos, and I say sad tacos because I ran out of tomatoes and onions. So before I made lunch, I went again so I used the restroom again and honestly it looked like there was more TMI it looked like there was more blood in the toilet than on my pad itself me saying TMI as if this whole video isn't a gigantic TMI but anyways I take that as a good sign so we're doing great so far I was worrying about leaking but that doesn't seem to be a problem because it seems to just absorb all the blood that there is so I'm starting to wonder can I use the same pad to go to bed also how long can you keep a reusable pad on they didn't really like give you a specific time they were just like as long as you feel you can or you need to. So I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there because we still have some more content and more time to go through. Yay. 801. <laughs> PM. So I'm done filming for the day and I switched into my little my little workout outfit. What I have started to do is cordless jump roping. Yes, jump roping without the rope part. And I normally do that out in the pool area, but obviously it's raining so I can't do that. So I'm just gonna turn and do it in the living room. I'm sorry, Fluffy is, Fluffy, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's looking for her tree. Where's your tree? Oh, I found it. Ma'am, here you go. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna start working out and first I'm gonna do some stretches and see how this unreasonable pad holds up. Luffy, I am trying to stretch. Fluffy! Ma'am, I'm not going anywhere. Here, why don't you stretch with me? Up, down. Fluffy, Fluffy please. Bring it around, down. This is the part where you get scared. This is Jackson Rod Stewart. Record my hop to destiny. <laughs> Fiend. Game plan now. I'm out of breath still. Is to shower. And I'll pee before the shower, of course. I'm gonna lay in bed and watch Netflix until I do fall asleep. So I guess I'll just decide after my shower if I need a new pad or not because it wasn't that bloody last time. We'll see. Many, many minutes later. I don't feel too comfortable wearing the same pad that I wore all day to go to bed. So I'm gonna rinse this one out right now. This might be a little blood warning because I do want to show you guys how I wash it. And I do am a little bit curious how much actually comes out so if you don't want to watch this you definitely don't have to but nothing to be ashamed about if you do so yeah so I'm supposed to let it run under cold water until it stops flowing blood but I don't really see much blood I really didn't bleed that much oh there there we go so I'm squeezing it out so let me keep rinsing until it stops flowing I'm assuming it's just all really deep in those layers because when I peed like the second time you could definitely see it more on the surface right but now right before I hopped in the shower I was like oh it has all disappeared from the surface so I'm just gonna keep rinsing it until it's all out so I rinsed off and believe it or not there is actually more blood in there than I initially thought like I kept squeezing it to make sure it was clean and I was like oh blood keeps coming Coming, but whatever I rinsed off as much as I can and I read the packaging for the specific reusable pads I bought and it said to soak in cold water uh, Soiled side down for 30 minutes and then wash it by rubbing it against itself and then hanging to dry So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the night And then we're gonna plop on a new one and hang in bed and watch Netflix and go to bed and See you in the morning. Tomorrow. All right, y'all. So it is morning. It is the next day. I have gone to the bathroom, done my business, cleaned everything up. The pad did have a little bit more blood this time, which was surprising because I don't usually bleed that much while I'm sleeping. But either way, I want to give you guys my conclusion on my experience of testing a reusable pad. I just want to say one thing, and the most important takeaway here is I absolutely loved it. And I think this is probably going to be the product that I stick with because the menstrual cup, you know, it did it its job but I just didn't like the idea of constantly having something in me granted I'll use tampons every now and then but it's not like tampons are my favorite like I still prefer pads at the end of the day I like the reusable pads because it makes me feel so much better than actually using a disposable pad because like I mentioned all those chemicals can actually harm you and make your period a lot worse so I feel more comfortable having a pad on not having something in me and it's something that is safe so that being said my whole pros and cons list 
list for a reusable pad. So the number one con, which is basically going to be everything for reusable period products, is just the expense. They might be on the little pricier side, but again, the way I see it is you might be paying a lot now, but it's money you don't have to spend on disposable products later on. The second thing that seems to be a common trend is it gets bloody, it gets messy. So of course, when you're washing the reusable pads, you know, you're washing the blood out and you really got to get in there and get that out. The other thing that goes with this one is that it's time consuming because you do have to clean them, dry them, wash them on your own. Obviously the drying is what's taken the longest time. Like I have to let it dry overnight. So I would have to have a lot of reusable pads if I needed them to last me a whole period cycle. The only other con that I could think of that I luckily did not experience this cycle is traveling. They gave me like a little wet pouch where you put, you know, your dirty pads once you change out of them in public. You can fold them with a little clasp and stick them in that little wet bag. But the thing is, this is a lot bigger, so it'll take up more space. And it's probably less, um, how do I say, less discreet than reusable pads because they're a lot thicker and they're bigger. So that might be kind of an issue, but I don't care that much about that. But granted, it's not like I could stick one in my pocket like I could a pad. So that is something to think about. But now the pros outweigh the cons completely. The number one, of course, is that it's reusable and it's eco-friendly, you know, technically saving your wallet in the long run. The other thing is research has shown that you get shorter and lighter periods, which I'm guessing it's because you're using more natural and organic product versus all the chemicals. My next pro is that it is super comfortable. So there is less discomfort and it just feels nice and just comfy in general. It feels so much softer and like you're on a cloud, which is so difficult to feel when you're on your period. The other thing is that it is always on hand. You don't ever have to run to the supermarket or run to the grocery store or wherever because you're out of pads. You're always going to have them at home. You could even like DIY your own if you really couldn't afford them or couldn't find one that you like or you just wanted to make one on your own. It's also more absorbent. Like there's so many layers. I was generally so shocked. I was a little bit impressed. I'm not going to lie. The only other thing I could think of right now is that there's no noise. I know I get asked a lot when you're in the bathroom, how do you make it not obvious that you're opening a pad? Well, with this one, you don't have to use that ripping sound. So actually, now that I think about it, another con is that the reusable pads move more than like, you know, a regular pad that you stick on because it's stuck on your underwear. This one can slide a bit, but that can also be taken like a pro. You can shift it to however much you want to feel comfortable instead of ripping it on and off. But anyways, that is my take on the reusable pad. I am genuinely so excited to use this on my next cycle. I really, truly loved this product. And yes, I loved it more than the menstrual cup, but hey, that's my opinion. That's my body. That's my experience. I definitely do recommend it. you testing out whichever products you think would be best for you and forming your own opinion with your own experience. But overall, let me know which period products you guys want me to test out next. And if you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Shout out of the day goes to Dami or Dami on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. I don't want to mispronounce your name, so I hope I got it. Either way, I pronounced it. Anyways, if you'd like to be shout out of the day, follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And of course, like I mentioned, I make a lot of period related videos. I have a playlist on my channel titled All About Periods, where it's period advice, tips, tricks, horror stories, all that good stuff. And this is a brand new series, so this is just a period series on its own as well. But still, lots of bingeable, helpful period content. And of course, if you want to see more, you should definitely subscribe for more. But all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!